All right, we are back after the summer, and I think it's been quite a while, actually, since I've recorded a podcast, but here we are facing fall, and it's time to get back into things. So if you're like me, this is a great time to reevaluate your business, uh, set up some goals, redo your schedule, make some lists. I've got four lists on my desk right now. Will I follow these lists? Will I actually stay on schedule? We will see, but I am full of the best of intentions. So today I'm going to be diving into a really fun topic, um, something that I feel very strongly about, and that is the power of digital products, digital goods uh, for increasing income from home. And the reason that I love digital products is because the sky is the limit. If you can create a valuable digital product, it not only saves you time, but the amount of money you can earn from it is endless. And I've done a lot of you know, physical products in the past. I've sold through MLM, as you know, and I've also done um, artwork or crafts where you create something physically and sell it. And I love that. And I still do that. My daughter and I are all geared up for the Christmas craft fairs in our area this fall because we like to make stuff. But it's time consuming and you rarely get back what you put into it in terms of your time. Your time is valuable. And my goal as a parent, as a work from home parent, is to buy back my own time. It's to have higher income and more time with my family. And wouldn't that be wonderful, right? And I I believe that that's possible, but we have to work smarter and not harder. And um, if I'm going to be spending time, you know, painting uh, an elaborate canvas, an elaborate painting, and maybe, you know, it took me 80 hours or more to create it's unlikely unless I'm a very famous artist that I'm going to get that return in, in money on that time. Right. And it's always exciting when someone buys your art, but, um, it's exhausting. It's exhausting having to create it. And if you're selling physical products, maybe that you didn't create, but you're just selling products, there's still that element of, um, filling orders or shipping that can be uh, costly, that can eat away at your profits and eat away at your time because now you have to fill orders. And um, it's just, it's it's a, it's fine. It's a good way to make money, um, but it doesn't give you back your time. And so today I want to talk about how digital products could be used in your business, not to replace other things, but to add value to your business by increasing your income without having to Uh, put in that time. So first with digital products, the sky's the limit in terms of your profit margin, because the digital product, you're not having to necessarily spend to create a physical product. You don't have to buy your goods, um, the, the pieces and the parts of your product to make it. And, um, the shipping and the cost of packaging and all of those things are completely irrelevant when it comes to digital products. And so your profit margin can be very, very high where it might cost me in terms of time. If I was going to make say an ebook, it might cost me a day, two days, maybe to write it and create it depending on how long it is, obviously, but to, to write it and create it and make something really valuable. But then I can charge whatever I want for it. Um, I could charge $20, $30, $50, whatever I want. And I can sell that ebook as many times as possible. I don't have to send a physical book to someone. I don't have to look at how do I get this printed, all of those things. I can now sell that product as many times as possible. So in that respect, my time, my initial input is very low as long as I'm actually selling that product. And so of, of course you have to look at things like making something that people actually need, making something that's good, that's useful, that works well. And there's some tech involved in that, some design skills, but um, you have the ability then to create a very, very high profit margin for yourself, which is awesome. Uh, scalability is really huge with digital products. You can sell this to an unlimited number of customers all around the world. Because of social media and the internet, now we have access to a market that we would have never had before. If I was selling products in a brick and mortar shop, I'm really only accessing my local community. And if I'm selling online through my brick and mortar shop, I'm then dealing with shipping and packaging and all of those things and filling orders. But by introducing digital products into my business, I can reach a very wide array of people all around the world without adding the costs that come along with that. 
so you can scale up your business. And in, in doing so, you know, even if you're still selling physical products and services by adding in digital products, you're driving, uh, attention and people to your other things. So for me as a website designer, by selling digital products, I'm also driving traffic to things like my blog, my podcast, um, but also my services. So then I can, you know, offer services to people online through web design and, and graphic design. Um, and they can live anywhere in the world. That's one of the beautiful things about this type of work. But even if you're selling physical products online by selling digital products, you might reach more people to then see your physical products, which is awesome as well. So some examples of digital products, you might be like, well, what on earth is a digital product? Um, so initially I would have think, thought something like a computer program or an app, um, which to those totally count. But more practically, it could be something like an ebook, a workbook, um, a, a template, uh, a recipe book, or um, a DIY, a how to guide, lists, um, spreadsheets for like budgeting and accounting. Um, you have to think about what your niche is. Who, who do you serve? You know, so somebody who's serving families might create tools um, to help families stay organized, to budget, to save, to keep track of their expenses, to do their taxes, um, to uh, budget their meals out, meal planning uh, sheets and things like that to make things easier around the home. Um, if you are helping small businesses, again, you could create uh, templates for keeping track of their expenses and their profits so that when a tax time comes around, they're more organized and on top of things. Um, there's all sorts of things you can create that can help people, but you just really have to think about, okay, like what do people need and how can I meet that need through a digital product? Some other things are um, teaching, you know, through courses, online courses, um, but also if you created uh, patterns, if you were a maker and you're doing crochet or um, cross stitch or sewing or anything like that, if you can then take your creations, your patterns and put together uh, patterns that other people can then download and use maybe with a tutorial or a guide or creating um, a course that walks them through it. It, that's a digital product. So, you know, for makers, I know it's really hard to sell those things that you're making. It's challenging and you have this skill and this craft, um, but how do you get people to see it? How do you stand out in the world? And one great way is to then take what you know and teach, right? And, and make it accessible to people all over the world who might not necessarily buy the thing you made, but then might want to learn from you how to make something themselves. And so that's a great way to add to your kind of repertoire, your products. Um, I had a girl that I follow online and she crochets these adorable hats. Um, and I, I don't know if you've seen people like this at craft markets and such, but to get the value or the return on their time, those crocheted hats are really expensive and so beautiful and so worth it. Um, but expensive. And so their sales, it's tricky for them because someone can go to a store and buy a knit hat. Um, and save themselves money. So how do you stand out? How do you increase your income um, for this hobby that you love and this art that you have? And so what she has done is she has packaged up all her um, patterns and her tutorials on how to create these different things. And she sells those as well. And on and uses that in her social media to create this awesome social media content where she's not only showing these things that she makes, but she's also teaching people how to make. And uh, her following is massive and her sales are really massive. So every time she drops new things in her shop, they sell out right away because people will not only want to buy the pattern, they want to buy the hat. Right. And so I think that's a really smart strategy. And it's a way that she can then increase her income dramatically without having to be working, working, working to crochet and sell these hats. Um, so you can think about smart ways to introduce digital products um, into your business that is going to give you that kind of freedom as well, which is really awesome. And um, just some last things to consider is... Um, Really, digital products break down geographical barriers and help you to connect you with a more diverse customer base, and they build a sense of authority. Um, and it makes you look like an expert in your field, right? And so no matter what you do, um, if you have created um, a book or an ebook or a workbook or some kind of resource, people start to see you as an authority and not just someone who's selling another thing, but like, wow, this person is 
they really know what they're talking about because they've helped me learn this thing or they've given me this tool. And so to be able to show that you created these things um, is setting you up as different from everybody else in your niche. You stand up, you stand apart. Um, and that's, that's everything. That's everything to online marketing. How, how can you be different from everybody else? So what can you create that is going to be valuable to your audience and um, that's going to serve them and make you stand out and look like the expert in your field, right? And so um, I hope that if you haven't yet, you've taken a look at my digital product guide. I created this ebook that uh, for a limited time is being offered for free. And um, because I'm looking at ways to make it better and I've got it out in the world now, but it's 45 pages that walks you through some things to consider when setting up uh, digital products. And it gives you a long list of possible digital products that you can create. And I hope that you take an opportunity to download it and just give it a read and let me know what you think. And you can join us next week as we look at more ways to create income come from home and buy back our own time so we can spend more time with our families. All right, you guys have a great week.